<clears throat> Welcome to the Weathersfield, Connecticut Shade Tree Commission meeting for August, Monday, August 9th, 2021 at 7.30 p.m. In accordance with the, governor, the governor's executive order 7B, this meeting is being electronically recorded. Um, my name is Corey. I'm the Weathersfield Tree Warden and looking around, I only have one commissioner with us tonight, um, Alex Graver. Um, welcome. There were, let's see, is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, we're going to move on to old business. Uh, is there a motion to approve the June minutes? There was no July meeting. Motion to approve the minutes. I'm going to second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Moving on to new business. There is a request to remove the declining tulip at 350 Main Street. Any discussion on that? I mean, it's clearly been declining for years. I think uh, it should come down. I wouldn't call it an immediate hazard, but I mean, it's definitely, definitely working on its time, you know? So, but I don't think that's the way I see it too. Yeah. That's the way I see it too. Um, I just want to tell the audience that there are two absentee votes on this tree in addition to you and I, Alex, that'll, mm -hmm. that'll be the case. Um, both Mark Albert as an absentee vote and Joe Hickey as an absentee vote um, have have voted in favor of removal of both of the new in favor of both of the uh, new business items, which are to remove a tree at 350 Main Street and a tree at 199 Griswold. And uh, my father too wanted me to pass along okay. that he, he he the same thing. He agrees to remove both. Okay, good to know. Just again to tell the audience uh, the history that I know of this tulip, there is a visible lightning strike. There's there was it was certainly struck by lightning. I can't remember if it was like it was like 2017 or 2018, a good few years ago now. And we tried pruning this tree. It's it's a gigantic tree also. It's maybe it's head and shoulders above the rest around. You know that, Alex. And it's it's a, it's sad to see it go, but it's it's really in bad enough shape that I feel like it's it's time to phase it out. Though I would also agree with you, Alex, that uh, it's not an imminent hazard, and and thus far I haven't tagged it. Um, the lightning strike did not split the tree open, but it just blew off a, a section of bark down the stem all the way to the ground. And the year after it was struck, we noticed a dead section of crown that we pruned out. And I think it's been through two rounds of pruning now where, where we've, we've kind of chased after some dead associated from uh, that lightning strike. And I feel like the canopy is thinning. The roots were the lightning strike, you know, the roots associated with the lightning strike into the ground weaken the, the stem. And then there's also a little bit of localized hollow throughout the tree, which is a secondary issue on top of the lightning strike. So I feel like this tree should be phased out. Um, is there a motion to approve this, this item for removal? Make a motion to remove the tulip tree. I second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, seeing the two of us plus three absentee yes votes, motion passes. All right, moving on to 199 Griswold. There's a, I believe, Don Redwood there that's that has a that's up for removal here. Um, the top blew out of this tree, maybe a 12, a 12 inch um, diameter section of top that, that came out onto Griswold Road, I think last year with Hurricane Asadis. 
And there's a lot of, I think, as you and I talked about, Alex, more decline in this tree than I would have expected from, from the damage that happened. Um, we talked about possibly pruning this tree, but I think that would be experimental and outside the bounds of what would generally be regarded as good agricultural practice. And oh, hands down, that would not be. <laughs> yeah, it would be interesting, in my opinion, as as a, like a experiment in a less consequential area. But it's just because of species. Yeah, in a street setting, I feel like I feel like I would want to just get this tree out and and plan to replace. Would you replace with the same species? I haven't thought of. I haven't thought of Don Redwood outside of in in a, a snow shelf location, but maybe, you know, it is. I'd have to see how wide it is there. Yeah, yeah. that I just would want to have a Don Redwood be allowed to be very wide, mm -hmm. especially low wide branches. You know, as it gets older. I can't remember exactly how this was pruned up, but it must have been raised over the street and sidewalk and such. Um, well, I, I, I make a motion that. to remove it. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Seeing Alex and I plus three absentee votes, motion passes. Um, there's moving on to moving away from new business. And I just listed in, in, in item five on the agenda, June work completed and then, um, uh, Item six, July work completed. As again, we did not have a July Shade Tree Commission meeting. So any comments or, or questions on that? All right. Um, if that's all, a motion to adjourn. All right. motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you very much, Alex. All right. I'm just gonna pause the recording.